Okay. So that should mean that people can be nice and healthy and do everything that they need to do. Oh, wait. Why am I putting lights in there? I'll put them in with the tables. Right, so this kitchen is going to need some sinks. Two. Ah, oh, can I get two in? It's probably going to want, like, because it's a little bit bigger of a canteen, we can put some more stuff in. There we go. We'll just have like that many serving tables. Can't fit any more in than that. Um, so, which can does any of our canteens go that way? This one does. Okay. So, we'll quick build this. Wrong way. I want the other way, don't I? want these ones. Well quick build these ones. There we go. Obviously we need to make it into a room. So it's not saying it's like 13 canteens, it is just one. And then objects again we'll get some phone booths. We'll get some more weight benches. Oh, and we're basically out of money. Um, some prayer mats too. There. So I'll have to do for now. We'll have to let the workmen get on and finish all of that. But we can decide what some of these other rooms are going to be. So we are going to have another cleaning cupboard and obviously we need to deploy all of this too. And then logistics. We can get like another 18 jobs in there. I don't think we're going to need another laundry. I think the two we've got should be sufficient. Um, but we will get them another common room because they only have the one. What else should we have? Should we have another shop? And we'll have another um, infirmary down the bottom. Keep everybody nice and safe. Oh, and I haven't labelled the kitchen as a kitchen either. There we go. Kitchen. Oh no, I want a workshop, don't we? Um, instead of the shop then, we'll have a workshop. Now, it's annoying that you have to have everything in. I suppose you need something to chop the wood, don't you? Because this is going to be our woodworking one, really. So we're going to have a table. We are going to have two saws, we'll have a press up here, and we'll have two carpenter's tables. Um, so it's probably going to need some power going to these bits, like that, and we need to put some lights in. Oh. We're totally out of money, so we're just going to have to wait. Having that army of cleaners seems to really be helping, and we beat the virus too. That's all we needed to do was put a few extra people in lockdown for that a little bit longer, so it wouldn't spread again. Oh. I think I'm going to have this one so it's locked open. Same with the canteens. 
And maybe even the yard too. There you go. Now they're not waiting on the guards to do stuff for them. Right, we also have a little bit of money again. I think some of the issues are up here really in in Maxec. So let's also check oh we have a phone call. What is this? A disaster no oh what? Again? Um okay. Well we don't really have any space right now. But we'll see what we need to put in. Okay, so we've got some max sack. Not too many though. Oh, look at them all. So we've got nine extra min sack. We've got 11 extra, oh dear, look at that generator, um, let's put some extra capacitors on that, because that doesn't look very healthy. So a lot of these guys are going to spend the night in the holding cell, but we do have the money to start getting this side up and running, so Minsec, will, oh, Minsec's fine, they just all escaped. Oh, and this one needs some power too. Oh no! Um, put four on that one. Well, that solves some of the issues. <laughs> We're fine for Minsec. I have dogs that should stop this, but they really don't. Look, they dug out with a spoon. Right, we're going to get another dog patrol. Here. Have a dog on there. I think we're going to have to hire a few more dogs. And maybe give them some extra places to sleep too, but... Because obviously six is not enough. Um, dog kennels, where are they? Um, I can't seem to see them. There they are. We'll just, you know, fill up the gaps. Let the dog sleep as and when they need to. Oh, yep, I knew we need that. Once these go in, we'll be fine. We just got some money for some early releases. Come on. Someone install this, please. Oh, and someone's died. Right, switch that back on. There we go. We're okay again. And I think we need more cooks. Let's hire another five. Yeah. I think we're starting to have a few staff issues. Because we probably don't have enough of certain things, but it's okay. We'll deal with it slowly. Um, right. So we want to get some medical beds in here. And they found that tunnel. Um, so let's remove that. Oh, that person is so small. Hey, look, he's really small compared to everybody else. Okay. 
Um, I never noticed that you could have small prisons before. Right, so, logistics. People can work in there and people can work in there. Um, I am going to want to start a program of carpentry. Hopefully we have some a spot. Yeah, we do. We have a spot free. That's great. So hopefully people will start making beds. Um, let's get this common room with some stuff in. We just completed a grant too. Not sure what for. Oh, it must have been the um, the short term investment. And we'll get a nice large TV. There we go. So that gives them an extra common room to, you know, chill out in. And everything else is done. We just need to put the cells in now. So, cells. We want to just clone some of these ones. It's kind of tempting to actually put this top one in too, actually. Let's do that. I was going to have a little corridor, but... Hey, I don't think we need it. Oh, I'm running out of money. Okay. So we're nearly even now our normal security guys. Um, everything else is okay. All right, intelligence, informants, please. Let's get those two out and about. So we can see if we have any snitches. Someone just died. Oh. Oh no. I was like, is that one of my informants who died? No. It's a snitch. Up there. Okay, it looks like we have one. Excuse me. You want to go into protective. Oh, you're dead. There's no point putting a dead person into protective custody, is there? both there. Doesn't look like we have any of the snitches that they know of. I mean we don't have 100% coverage yet but it's okay. We do have another person down there we can recruit and he'll slowly learn more stuff about the prison as time goes by. Right so let's get Grants, we'll do long term investment next then. And we just released a load of prisoners. I love these parole hearings, they're such a nice little way to keep the money coming in at all times. Don't worry, they'll be assigned to eat this canteen soon enough. So, how is staff morale doing? It's back up to 100. I think it was our cooks that were a little bit upset. Um, I might hire five more. Oh, I would if we had some money, but we don't. Just to make sure that we are feeding everybody. And my cooks can actually have breaks and stuff like that. And this area gets tidied up. Because it'd be nice if we could tidy up this area too. This is one of the issues sometimes with these staff rooms. They do just end up collecting trays. Okay, so down here. Have I put the jobs in here? So they can at least wash their own clothes and 
anything else they feel like. Um, I might change their regime. So it's something a little bit different to normal security. Oh, I can't see minimums. Okay, minimum is an hour down. So they have eat. Uh, they can have a double free time. Um, and then they eat here, here, and have a work there. A work there, they have. Eat and eat. You are in free time. There you go. Oh. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this top one, and they can have an hour of free time. There you go just change their regime slightly so it's a little bit different to everybody else well not to everybody else but just to give the cooks a little bit of a break and stuff I like to keep them on slightly different eat regimes I mean they're pretty much the same as oh what is this why were you being beaten up and is this an actual tunnel? It could be. Come back, dog. Sniff. 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 We'll do a shakedown tonight because it could actually be a tunnel and that would be horrible. I don't want to have another big escape. So before we do another shakedown, I'm going to hire another... Oh, we're out of money. Well, we've got a few more guards. It's sleep time. Let's have a shakedown. Because we could probably do getting rid of lots of contraband anyway. Because look how much they've found just in the day. So a good shakedown will hopefully help us out. Lock open, lock open, lock open. There you go. There's a little bit of free movement going on. Lots of stuff's been found. I don't know if we found any tunnels yet. Oh, here's one. Oh, we don't have enough money to get rid of it though. Well, looks like it's time to stop. Oh yeah, these ones don't have any water because I didn't um, plan on these ones being there, did I? Or just, you know. Oh. That's the end of the money. And so these prisons arrive. We're getting 24 in tomorrow, so that will be a good number. Well, today even. There we go. Intake is in. I can finish off these water pipes. And staff, I want to get two doctors in this one. Hopefully they'll stay there. They might not, and then we'll have to go find doctors and stuff. Because we do have a few in this infirmary. There's lots in this one up there. Go on, let's get some doctors over in this infirmary, please. There we go. Hopefully they'll stay there. I don't know if that dog's just smelling tunnels. For the sake of smelling tunnels or not. Let's keep going with ourselves. We 
because I would like to make sure that we are got a D oh wow two deaths today oh. guys you're not gonna get parole by doing that are you right let's keep on putting in some cells then Okay, that's all we could afford. But it is making Minsec that little bit more, you know, profitable for us. I mean, technically Minsec is profitable quite easily, just because it has such a fast turnover. So, there's that going for us too. Oh, and we have some prisoner releases. And... Some angry prisoners are somewhere beating people up. Oh, it was in here. Right, since we had quite a big intake yesterday, I want to make sure we didn't take in any snitches. So we'll just get everybody out and about. That's the first one. Oh yeah, looks like we have one. Welcome to protective custody. Okay, anybody else? There's one more person to come in. We have quite, quite a lot of the question marks done. Oh, yeah, look, there's one more. Go to protective. There you go, that's everybody. Looks like we have some... We definitely need to do a shakedown, more of this side of the prison. So I might do some searching of cell box instead. So, search this cell block. Because this is the side that tends to miss out on the shakedowns, so. Also, I think we must have a tunnel somewhere. Yeah, we did. We got a big one there. Being informed, let's just sort that out. Right, and then we're also going to search oh, this cell block too. It looked like they had quite a lot of contraband over this side too. So we want to make sure we're getting all of that. Doesn't like there's any tunnels, but there was plenty of contraband for us to get. So let's see if we can get any informants today. If we're in solitary, that looks about it. Oh no, look, we've got another one. Um, let's take you on to you. There we go. And we've made plenty of money, so let's clone more cells in. Oh, someone's died. 
Why has someone died? Oh, it's another parole lawyer officer. Come on. That's not going to get you parole, is it? <sighs> of course he's going to fail if he's going to attack people. Doesn't show that he's ready to go back into society, does it? If he's going to do that. So also put some more cells in down here. There. So there you go. We've got all the cells in that we can have for now. I suppose actually we could put something in down here too, couldn't we? I mean they would be probably going the wrong way. Is there so wait? Four and a solitary. That's fine. We can do that. Might as well just build them all myself. It's not really worth cloning with this many. Um, we'll also have some jail doors. Oh, not there. Oh, okay. Maybe it is worth cloning them. If I'm going to make silly mistakes like that. Um, materials, brick wall. There we go. And they're going to want some water. That's fine, that's easy enough. Right, then objects, they're going to have a toilet. And a shower. Some drains down this bottom end bed oh no we don't have enough money for this last bed come on oh, there we go we can afford the bed now and then we're going to sort some lights too there even more cells so rooms, these are going to be cells, and this one is going to be a solitary. There! So we can get even more Mensac in. Looks like we might be able to get to 300. I'll be pretty pleased if we can have had 300 prisoners in all of this. How's our little protective custody guys doing? There's one, there's two, so we've we only got two at the minute? No, we should have three. Oh no, there's the other one. What we need to do is we need to save up how much money? 40,000. Until we can get ourselves that bit of land. And that should easily get us the 500 because we can add on to each of the cell blocks basically. Mensec will get a bit, quite a big expansion because it has all these little corridors that we've built in nicely in a way so they can easily get to and from everything else There you go. These guys are like the only unfortunate people who don't have showers. They have to go shower in the shower block. Um, we're having a few issues up here. Uh, 
but it looks like we can easily get through all of the parole hearings each day with the amount of rooms we have. Because, you know, it's important to have everything in here and organised and everything like that. And look at that, this canteen seems to be working out quite well. And, yes, my phone is buzzing. It's one of those irritating things that happens from time to time. Um, because... Right, um, let's lock it open. That's what I wanted to do. Stick it over there so hopefully it's you know a little bit further away and a little less intrusive. Alright, so I think what we need to do is oh we managed to make quite a lot of money today. Oh it's early releasing of these prisoners. So this forty thousand doesn't actually seem too hard for us to get. We are not making any beds yet. Has no one passed? Our little scheme down here doesn't look like it yet. Let's have a look at our programs. Yeah, there's people interested. I think they must still be doing it. I'm getting some wood from our little forestry area. It's definitely helping keep us in the green. Yeah, so this canteen can definitely handle a few more prisoners coming into it. So when we make this next block, it'll be this canteen will keep on feeding them. I mean, we have got another 28 people arriving tomorrow. So we'll have to wait and see. You can just hear the trees being plopped in. Oh my gosh, um, a recent high profile gang case is implicated to one of our minimum secure, oh another one of these, okay, um, who is it, it's one of you guys, there he is, hi you're now going to go into maximum, thank you. We don't have gangs in this so luckily he's not actually a gang leader. Because those are the worst. Oh look, we've hit 40,000. That did really not take very long. So, let's buy this bit of land over here. There we go. Right, so we're going to go and plan out what we want to do. Well, we can leave the game running because that way we'll make money while we do this. So that's going to be the eventual perimeter wall if we ever manage to afford it. You never know, we might just sell the prison first. Objects. But while it's running nicely, I'm not going to bother selling it. And we're making enough to actually be able to afford what we want to expand with. There's no point us selling anything just yet. Well, there's quite a lot of trees up here. Okay. So that's all the trees. The uh, we will slowly get on with all of that. While we plan everything out.
So we'll start off by planning our new Minsec area. Which is going to just go all, well, this whole section is just going to go all the way up like this. And then this will be the main corridor that splits off the normal security and the Minsec. Um, so what we're going to do on this side is we'll have some stuff here, which can be some rooms, and here we'll have another, um, yeah, have it 15, and this can be another kitchen and canteen. Have the kitchen down there. Oh, might be a little bit big. Kitchen there, canteen there. Right, and then how big is this? This is nine itself. So that's not going to work, but we can get a row of cells in just there. They are going to be facing the wrong way, but now we have. Oh no, those are also facing the wrong way. So we're going to have to actually make some cells from scratch just there. Oh wait, oh no, mm. hang on, we want this to go to about there-ish. There you go. So this is going to be our new medium security area. It's not going to add too many cells in, but it should add enough and then we'll also add in some facilities for them so everybody has a job and stuff like that it's rather important and there you go we've got some extra solitary at the top oh whoops Also, we're going to have another solitary cell there. Just good because uh, medium security doesn't have very many solitary cells. Because of how we've built it. And actually as well, I'm going to make sure we have a little extra corridor. Just in case we expand again. We'll have a couple of rooms down this way. There we go. So that is going to be our new medium security area. Quite nice looking. So for down here, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a corridor that goes like this. Is that? Oh no, that's only one wide. I want it to be two. There we go. So that joins up onto there, like so, and. There's the fence, which we'll probably get rid of it. It can just be an enclosed yard. Um, so right now, this bottom half will link up onto this bit. We'll have that like that. And like that. So I am going to want to have a few rooms. Oh dear. <coughs> My voice is going. And we'll have another little bit down here. Be about six. These are going to be some smaller rooms. Right. And then in this middle bit can all be cells. Because they should all be able to use the canteen. So we want to have there and there. The other bit up here will have its own canteen as well. So it's not a massive, it can be a massive strain on the new one, but. It'll be a little bit of one. There you go. 
Mintek. Because hopefully this will get us up to 500. I don't know if it's going to. Now I'm looking at it. But while we're planning it, we should be getting plenty of money, which is going to lead to us being able to expand all of this. And actually, up here we wanted a yard. So this bit there can be another yard. Because this one's a little bit small for all of these prisoners. I always forget about the yards. Oh. That looks like we're going to have some solitary cells up at the top bit. There we go. So room wise we'll have a few smallish ones down here. Like that and then we'll have a few bigger ones just there. Right and then again this will just have some rooms there. And that will probably be it, it, apart from we'll have a kitchen and canteen. The kitchen will go there, canteen there. Maybe we'll have the canteen a little bit wider. Like that. And the rest of this is going to just be cells. And that can just be a way in and out there. So cells going in like this. That looks like we're gonna have some more solitary. Great. Oh, someone's died. There's Minsec. We'll have a few more rooms down here. You know, we might get like another classroom in and stuff like that. Just so there's plenty of stuff for them to do and there's plenty of spaces. Oh, welcome back. Um, we've done a bit of expanding since you've been gone. The prison is looking quite big now. I hope you enjoyed your walk. Um, but yeah, we're just expanding everything a little bit more. Right, so then Maxec are going to want to have their little extra bit of fence. That's always good. So far it hasn't rained here either. It's just been very cloudy. And we'll have just some rooms there. And then this can be... You know, the kitchen and canteen. We'll have kitchen and canteen up there. We'll have a few more rooms. We are probably going to need at least one more power grid. Probably not up here, but down here. It's probably going to want its own power grid. Yeah. I like to make sure everything is looking pretty good. So, cell wise, we'll have a gap of two there. Actually, no, we won't. Yeah. Nine. And then the 
of the nine. There we go. Hang on, that one's too big. Let's not do that. I haven't put these middles in yet either. Okay. So we've nearly finished planning everything out. So we'll be able to get the fences in. I think next. So this is going to be a little potential expansion to maximum security. We've got min medium there and minimum down here. So fences. Oh, someone's died. Let's get the fence in. And at the rate we're making money, we might even be able to start thinking about a perimeter wall. Uh, and let's deploy. Oh, we can't deploy it yet, can we? Got to let the fence build, and then we can deploy this as staff only, so we won't have any escapes. And we probably want to check on our intelligence. Oh, look. There's someone we don't even need to find out about. They can just go straight into protective custody. Uh, but let's get out all of these guys and see if we have 100% coverage. It looks like we should do. But we might not just yet. Right, so we've got him and him. That's fine. Oh, look, there's another one. He also needs to be searched, but right now he can just go into protective custody. I like to make sure everybody's being kept nice and safe. Oh, I think we must have already had him, but... Okay. Anybody else? Doesn't like it just yet. 82. Definitely a lot of contraband down this end of the prison again. We'll have to do another cell block searches down this way. Just to make sure nothing is like happening and he's taking a long time to get there. He's like the least distance to go and he ta he's taking the most time. Okay, looks like there's another snitch too. Protective custody. So we can look after you. There you go, he's in. Oh yeah, look, 100% coverage. And yeah, so look, no more snitches. That is great. And we have a maximum security guy, so you can become another informant for us. Because they tend to stay in the prison the longest, it makes sense to have them as our people in protective custody. Has this fence been finished? Deployment. Yes, it has. Excellent. Let's make that staff only and we shall dismantle this wall. that. There we go. Oh dear. Staff and Ral's taking a plunge. Um, right, 
What are our staff needs like? Needs. Staff needs. Food is a big issue. Why is food... Oh. I see why food's a big issue. Right, we need more cooks. We'll go up to 30. Go wash some of these dishes. No? Nope, they didn't, they didn't want to wash the dishes. Fine, I'll hire another five. Come on, guys. We need these dishes washed. Oh yeah, and these guys need some stuff in their yard, don't they? Okay, so let's get some phone booths and some weight benches down here. There you go. Right, I'm really hoping some of these cooks are going to decide to, you know, wash some of these plates instead of just stacking them. Hmm. It doesn't look like they are, does it? They're just stacking them all. I even put a little sink in there for them. Well, that does not seem to be working. Right, let's try again. Fire another five. One, two, three, four, five. Come on! We want to get staff morale better. How's the fence going? Oh, it looks like they got rid of most of it. Okay. Right. Um, the one thing we need to do is deployment. Got this dog patrol here. Is going to go. For now. And we'll expand this one. And put another one up here. can have you know two dogs on it and there's a tunnel there we haven't got rid of so let's deal with that and I want to get rid of this bit of fence as well so that's going to become a wall afterwards well, it looks like we need more cleaners too so let's hire another what, five cleaners? There you go. Still, no one is washing up these. Oh, what? Someone's escaping? Why? Ah, the deployment. Not anymore. <laughs> Why are you just kind of sat there on your own in the nude? Oh, okay, yeah. This is an issue. Um, foundations. Brick. Can we afford to do all of this? Technically, yes. There we go. Deployment. That is all now staff only. So they shouldn't be using that yard. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> um, Alright, um. Bang off everybody. And lock down the prison. There we go. Everybody to your cells. We're going to lock these ones shut once everybody has arrived. Um, just have those on normal. Right, it's 
staff is still food is still an issue we don't have enough solitary cells for everybody either oh, and we're finding tunnels too oh, my gosh Well, that was nearly a big mistake, wasn't it? But it's fine. We're um, recovering nicely. I think. We could do with some more guards. Um, so I might hire us, you know, go up to 75. That should deal with some of the issues. Right. There you go. Everybody is now free to do what they want again. But it's sleep time. So you're spending time in your cells anyway. But it is getting rid of the danger level. I think we still need another five guards. Hang on. There. Mm. It just, just seemed like no matter how many guards we add, they're all just busy. Oh yeah, it requires an entrance, doesn't it? Um, yeah, we'll split this off here. Mm, doesn't want one there, but we are going to want one up here too. And one down there. So actually, as well, planning wise, actually no, we do want that, don't we? So it separates off these two cell blocks. It's fine, you just gotta spend time. It's a big bit for them to build today. Um, I might hire five more workmen. And everything's okay. The yard is now sealed again. So we can lock these open. It looks like we won't have any more mass escapes. Um, let's dump that climbing rope before anything else happens with that. Release some people. So it's easy peasy. This bit's all going to work on this canteen because this canteen. And kitchen is big enough to handle a few more prisoners. Um, how is the situation over here? Not great. Hmm. I'm not sure what the best way to go about this is. Make a tiny little kitchen up here, maybe? That has a sink in? That could be the way we do it. Um, foundations. Um, brick. I mean, is that really going to be big enough as a kitchen? I don't think it is. We've kind of built ourselves into a little bit of a corner here as well with the staff area. Oh uh, yeah, they definitely don't seem to be using this sink. Um, so let's see logistics, food distribution. Ah, they're using this one. I would prefer if you used this kitchen. And that one. There we go. Because this one has two sinks, so maybe they'll actually start taking the, um, using these sinks and getting these done. We might hire another five cooks. Oh, these are cooks. 
in the hopes that they'll actually start washing the knee. Nope. Also, logistics. It does have prison labour. That's good. Does everything have its prison labours? Yep. The jobs are all there. And this bit's built. Right. So the easiest bit to do is we are going to have this bit on its own power grid as well because I don't think the other one's going to handle it very well. So I'm going to stick another power one there. I'll just, you know, stick a little brick wall around it. Make it into a staff room. Uh, uh, not a staff room, a storage room with a staff door. There. Right, so utilities wise, water is going to come from over here. Thank you very much for the host. Welcome to the stream. Uh, right, so water's going to go up here and down there. And also down here because these bits don't line up very well 